right now in the West, if you, if you read most research studies, will talk about, oh, the mind's effect on the body, or the body affecting the mind. When you have a thought, it has a physiological component. When you have, I bang my knee, it has a consciousness component. It's not, we're, we're sort of a little rudimentary on that um, aspect of it um, in Western science, because we're still trying to draw lines between things, when really it's a much more complex, elegant system according to um, the Asian traditions. The Army's supportive, the VA is supportive, um, Surgeon General is supportive, uh, and they became supportive because there's really good data showing that acupuncture is good for um, certain things, and maybe good for other things, we just don't have the data yet. The interest from the public is very high, and arguably the reason why the National Institutes of Health are looking, put money into this at all. It's because the public demanded it. Although a physician might feel that um, Robert would be encroaching on his or her territory, it's really using a different, Robert's using a different way of looking at the body and health. And he's certainly not, in my experience, has never excluded any biomedical idea. In fact, he's highly educated compared to other acupuncturists about biomedical ideas. I think you're, it'll be, um, Robert will be a good referral person because he'll make your job easier because he will, he already speaks part of some of your language anyway and he's gonna continue with that patient to support you. If your patient becomes a patient of his, you're gonna work together. So it's, he's not gonna take anything away from you, he's actually gonna make your treatment more complete by adding some things to it. But there's a lot written right now about how physicians don't, can't give their patients the time that they would like to. And I know some doctors, and this is really true, they, you know, so many of them say, you know, I got into medicine 20, 30 years ago, I thought it was gonna be something that's very different than my daily life. My daily life is highly administrative. I have 10 minutes, eight minutes, 15 minutes is long to be able to spend with your patient. To know that your patient is also seeing another health professional that can take 45 minutes to an hour to hit on all the other aspects of being a human being and and being healthy that maybe as a physician you can't address or you can't get to or you don't have time to, to reach and Robert's actually helping you be a better doctor.